Well, hey gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tail Hunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report. Not quite coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, but this is going to cover all of the fishing action for our Tail Hunter Sport Fishing fleet down in La Paz, Baja, Mexico. And this is going to cover the dates of the 26th of March. Yes, all the way through April 2nd, 2022. Where's the year going? We're already into April. Hard to believe, isn't it? But, you know, that means some great fishing is on the way. And let me tell you what's going on. Because this last week, the winds were down. And we actually probably had the best week of fishing that we've had all year. Now, I've told you so often that usually from about November to April is off season. Now, I'm not going to say the winds are completely gone. Don't get me wrong. I don't have that kind of a crystal ball in front of me. I'm sure we're still going to get some winds. But this past week... Uh, we had maybe only two windy days. The rest of the days, not too bad at all. There were some breezes, but good enough to fish. And with each passing week, I tell you what, the weather's going to get better. The waters are going to get better. We're already up to about maybe 80, 85 degrees, 86 degrees during the daytime. Nighttime temperatures, a very comfortable 68, 69. So it's a really good time to get down there, a really good time to be fishing. And with each passing week, as I mentioned, it looks like the weather's going to get better and better. So let's talk about what happened with the fishing. Like I said, maybe the best fishing week we've had in a long time. The yellowtail, once again the the target fish this week and some really nice pigs some big uh, some big forkies what can i say maybe 20 pounds on the average but some bigger fish into the 30 35 pound class even some maybe into the 40s we'll never know because guys get hooked up on these and these fish are in the rocks they're in the reefs and the first thing they want to do and when they hit they want to go back down into the structure so a lot of these fish we just can't stop and especially if you don't have the experience and you don't realize you know I had somebody the other day at one of the shows that we were doing, he goes, well, how do you know? I've gone down there before. How do you know when these fish are nibbling? I'll tell you what, when you hit a 30 pound fish, these guys don't nibble. They slam, they hit you, they drag your lure back down to the rocks, they take your bait, and the first thing you wanna do is go right back into that structure. So these fish don't nibble. When you get hit, you get hit. This is not trout fishing or bluegill fishing, let me tell you. And there's some bigger fish as well. Also, in addition to the yellowtail, also seeing some bigger amberjack right now. There were some fish that uh, my captains estimated might have been in the 50, 60 pound class. We'll never know. But there were some big fish and we knew there were some some of these amberjack around and these are the good eating amberjack not like some of the amberjack you get in some of the other areas around the u.s these are some really nice horse-sized amberjack we get them up to about 100 pounds in our area and these are related to the yellowtail they're a bigger member of the jack family they are delicious meat and we had a couple up to color and the captains told me these might have been 50 or 60 pound fish but if you look at the photos this week you'll see some really really nice yellowtail not every day was good some days a little better than others sometimes one boat did better than the other but overall a pretty darn good week on the yellowtail in addition to that some other fish really popped up, some really nice trophy cabrilla. Now, if you've never heard of a cabrilla, these are uh, baby, basically they look like baby grouper or giant sea bass. Most of the time, they're three to five pounds, a very, very delicious eating fish, one of the most prized fish at the local restaurants in La Paz. And uh, But some of the fish we're getting this week, I mean, these are mounting size, put on the wall, take a big picture and blow it up kind of fish. These are some nice 10 or 12 pound cabrilla so those are also mixed in you add in some uh, jack crevel some really nice bonita uh, some skipjack that we throw back but providing a lot of action also some sierra and a few other uh, fish like some snapper and some pargo fish like that and there were some really nice days with some good action flat water which is what we're going to get more of or at least the fingers are crossed we're going to get more of this flat water as each week progresses as we get deeper and deeper into the beginning of the season which i'm going to say is probably going to kick in about the end of april beginning of may by that time i think we're going to be going full blast so fingers crossed that things are going to get better we also got a couple dorados so that's another indication that the waters are indeed getting warmer the biggest issue right now is we still are not finding a lot of live bait the reason for that is because of the winds that we've had waters are turned up the bait guys especially right now because there aren't that many folks fishing the bait guys aren't necessarily going out every day and if we've had some winds in those shallow areas where the bait is holding these little sardines and stuff 
the waters are really turned over or it's really rough, they can't get in and throw the nets. So in cases like that, we're using knife jigs, we're using yo-yo jigs, dropping the iron down, and we're also getting some of these fish on some deep trolled rapalas and the uh, yozuri type uh, lures that have the big lips. If you're a bass fisherman, these are what we call crank baits, but they, they uh, slow troll them. We don't do a lot of trolling, but we slow troll them around the rocks, and these are what's getting hit, and we use that especially on those days when we can't get bait. Okay, uh, that's a quick wrap up on what's going on. Uh, I'll tell you what, I just wanna say a big shout out and a big thank you. We just finished our last show in Denver, Colorado for the International Sportsman's Expo, and that was last Sunday, wrap that up. We've been on the road for the better part of three months, and we've been all over the country. I think I counted 14 states we've been in for the last uh, three months. It's been a long road show. If I look like I'm not quite as tired as I was in the last, uh, video report that's because it's nice to be back we are in texas right now we're loading up everything we're regrouping after being on the road and we're heading back home to la paz and i'm really excited about that i think we're gonna have a great season a lot of reservations coming in a lot of dates are filling up so if you haven't made your reservations yet get in touch with us we want to make sure uh, you don't miss this coming fishing season because I think it's going to be really good. Last year, we had an outstanding year, even though a lot of things were still closed and we still had a lot of iffy leftover things from the pandemic. You know, in 2020, everything was shut down. I think our fishing season was a total of maybe six weeks and we didn't have many, many uh, fishermen to begin with. But there was no commercial fishing. There was no sport fishing. You couldn't even scuba dive, kayak. All the beaches were closed. So the fish got left alone in 2020. Last year... We had a banner year, even though we were still recovering. We had a banner year, more and bigger rooster fish than I've ever seen. I think we had four fish that if we had kept them and uh, hung them up, I think they would have broken the world record of 114 pounds. We had some rooster fish in the 120, 130 pound category. We also had more and bigger marlin and sailfish than I've seen in decades. We had more and bigger dorado than I've seen in maybe a decade. And uh, I think we're going to continue with that this year, given the indications from some of the fish we're already catching. So we don't want to miss you. Get in touch with us. We still have dates open. We'd still love to see you this year. I think it's going to be a really good year. Thank you to everyone who showed us so much hospitality at all of these shows for the last three months. We did Reno. We did the Seattle area, Sacramento, uh, Central Oregon. I'm trying to think of all the areas. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, Salt Lake City. We just finished up in Denver, Colorado. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Oh, Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much for a great show as well. Really appreciate it, all of you. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for coming up to talk to us. We had a lot of fun. The road is long. The road is fun. We're done with that. We're ready to get back to La Paz. Showtime. We're going to see you down there. So thank you very much for checking in. This is Jonathan from the Mexican Minute and Tailhunter Sport Fishing. We'll see you down in La Paz. God bless. Take care of each other. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless. We'll catch you next week.